Be Love, written and illustrated by me. Dedicated to my daughter, Charlie May. Off to visit her grandbees, Debbie, the young lady bee, loves her grandpa, Barnaby, especially because he always told the best stories. Be love. Grandpa? Yes, my dear? How much do you love Grandma? Well, I thought that was clear. I love Grandma so much. Love is something more than what can be measured. One has to be love to behold the treasure. It is actually an action, not just a be motion. Now this may be a difficult notion. Long ago I thought, if I can be love, my love can be infinite. Then I will receive love among the equivalent. When I was a young bee, I created an invention. I made honey usable for any intention. It was amazing. We used it to not work so hard, but then we needed it to not be so bored. I did all of this to impress a beautiful lady bee, in hopes she would maybe fall in love with me. She told me, I don't need anything. Your love is enough, but I wanted to keep giving her more stuff. I then built her a house of gold and told her that it will never fold. She said, I don't need that. I wouldn't care if it sold. I just want you and for us to grow old. It took me long to realize love wasn't in stuff. Love was all around and was inside of us. Now, my creations had come at a price. Honey technology improved our life, but it crippled the connection between you and I, and now bees don't treat each other as nice. Some bees became angry and didn't want to share their home. Some bees even began to turn to stone. The friendship between us had become very weak. Though we have great imagination, bee life had gotten quite bleak. Many bees were lost, confused, and sad. See, the trick is to be grateful for what we already have. Before we knew it, the flowers started vanishing. Our world was turning so gray and felt very menacing. The earth had become very sick. We have to love again. We had to save it. Love, it's given, received, and expressed. We must be love in order to fix this mess. Let's help earth get better and regrow all these flowers. The humans need something pretty to look at from up in their towers. Maybe if we be love, the humans will too. We'll create a better life on this planet so blue. It all starts with kindness. Don't judge and don't dwell. Love has a blindness, but a very pleasant smell. Give a stranger a smile. Could be the first in a while. Pay someone a compliment and watch their eyes glisten. Talk with a friend, but more importantly, listen. See, the thing that is great is that it's never too late, and you'll find it's the most wonderful state. Infinity means forever, and you can try to be clever. When you be love, you will feel hate never. It's beautiful. Love cannot be measured. Also, don't worry, because there is no pressure. Love is unconditional. That's part of the pleasure. But love isn't in stuff. The action is the treasure. To be kind will make you feel good. To be loved could make you feel better. Love attracts love in all kinds of weather.
We all need each other to talk, to laugh, to cry. We need to feel the lows so we know why to fly. I'm trying to say that love is hard work. I love every time grandma gives me a smirk. I love every flaw, every one of her quirks. I even love when she laughs and makes a small snort. Every day is not easy. We can get mad or feel sad. Just like when there's this feeling, then the weather gets bad. Yesterday is gone, tomorrow doesn't exist. In this moment, what is done is the only thing there is. I love Grandma to infinity, as I do all around and above. Now that part is easy, because I am love.